Did you know that there are four common nutrients that children might not be getting enough of, even in developed countries such as the US and Canada? What are these nutrients? My name is Maria George, and as a health educator and a current child development professor, I'm going to tell you what these nutrients are, the consequences of possible deficiencies, who might be at risk, and then show you some foods that contain these nutrients. One of these nutrients is iron. Iron is a mineral that is found in hemoglobin, which is a protein in your red blood cells that helps to carry oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. Iron is also important for energy production and for detoxification. Iron deficiency is one of the most common nutritional deficiencies in the world. About 30% of the population is, has low levels of iron. So what is the complication of having low iron? Well, one, one consequence is anemia. And anemia is when you have low red blood cell count or low levels of hemoglobin. And some symptoms of anemia will include fatigue and also impairment of physical and mental development. Who is at risk for having iron deficiency? If you or your child are vegetarians or vegans, you may be deficient. Also, some children who are picky eaters who choose foods that are not iron rich can also be deficient in this important mineral. What types of food contain iron? The types of food that contain the iron that is more readily available and absorbed into your body are animal products such as red meat, chicken, uh, seafood and pork but if you are a vegetarian or a vegan or your child is then there are many plant-based sources such as lentils beans peas spinach one of my favorites dark chocolates also there's seeds and fortified foods such as cereal breads and pasta vitamin d is another common nutrient that people are deficient in about 42 percent of the population is deficient in this fat soluble vitamin vitamin d is a vitamin that helps in the absorption of calcium which is important for strong bones and also the absorption of other minerals such as iron phosphate, magnesium, and zinc. Consequences of vitamin D deficiency include rickets, which is softer and more fragile bones, increased risk of certain cancers, and also reduced immunity. So who might be at risk for vitamin D deficiency? Well, vegetarians and vegans might, depending on food choices. Also darker skinned children, because the higher amounts of melanin in darker skin does reduce the body's ability to produce vitamin D from sunlight exposure. Also, people and children who have limited sun exposure could be at risk, but even those who have a lot of sun can also be at risk because of sunscreen use. Not to say that sunscreen use is bad, it's great because we want to reduce our risk of skin cancer, but the use of sunscreen does decrease the amount of vitamin D that can be made with our bodies. So one thing that you could do to get enough vitamin D is to expose your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes a day. That's pretty much all you need and expose your arms and your legs to the sunlight. You can use sunscreen on your face to protect the more sensitive skin areas, but if you have about 10 to 15 minutes on your arms and legs each day, that will help. And then also you can eat foods rich in vitamin D, which include fatty fish, and that's salmon, trout, or sardines, egg yolks, and liver, and mushrooms. A third nutrient that your child may be deficient in is zinc. Zinc is a mineral that is essential for your child's growth, their digestion, sex hormone development, and a strong immune system. So children who are deficient in zinc may experience impairment of their cognitive development, stunting in their growth and height, and also increased risk for respiratory infections. So who might be at risk for zinc deficiency? There are certain conditions that you or your child might have that will lend you to have zinc deficiency, such as celiac disease, 
or maybe if your child has nut allergies since nuts are a rich source of zinc that can also lead to zinc deficiency it depends on what the child eats but there are great sources of zinc so that includes meats and cheese and eggs certain seeds such as pumpkin seeds nuts like i mentioned cashews peanuts are good sources of zinc and then some fruits and vegetables such as avocados peas and berries grains oats and wheat and then also lentils are another good source a fourth nutrient that your child might be deficient in is calcium calcium is a very important mineral that helps in the, the development of muscle functioning heart regulation blood circulation enzyme functioning and proper nervous system functions Calcium deficiency ranks as one of the most commonly known deficiencies in the developed nations. And if a child is deficient in calcium, then their teeth and bone development might be impaired. Also disruption of their heart, nerves, and muscle functions can also be affected. One thing about calcium deficiency is that the symptoms may take years to manifest. So just make sure that your child has enough calcium. Who might be at risk for calcium deficiencies? Children who are allergic or intolerant to dairy products or lactose can be deficient. So foods that are rich in calcium include the dairy products, milk, teas, and eggs. There are alternatives to dairy, which is, uh, there include soy, almond, cashew, oat milk, and other types of milk. Also, there's plenty of foods that have calcium and that includes dark green vegetables such as kale or broccoli, nuts, beef liver, fatty fish, and tofu. So now that you know about these four nutrients, let me know in the comments below which one was most helpful to you. Or maybe there's a nutrient that I forgot. Let me know there too. If you want to know more about nutrition for children, watch one of these videos to learn more. If this video was helpful to you, please like and then subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.